I received this knife as a gift for my 18th birthday. Wish I'd have known what it was, because as soon as I touched it, I grew a mustache and became a Navy SEAL. My mother fainted and my dad laughed and handed me a beer. I was born a girl. Minus two stars because my breasts were really nice. This book is completely misleading. The entire plot revolves around finding baby's belly button. The title makes this very clear from the beginning. However, there is no mystery. There is no twist. Baby's belly button is right where it's supposed to be. On baby's stomach. Right where it clearly shows you it is on the cover of the book. This plot is a complete mess as a result of its reliance on the mystery of where the belly button is. Everything falls apart to the second you realize that the belly button was in plain sight all along. There is no conflict, there is no character development, and there is scarcely any plot. Whoever wrote this book must have a serious error in judgment, because you would have to be an infant to not immediately understand where baby's belly button is. This is one of the worst pieces of literature I have ever read. Somebody really wanted to get an A-plus in book club that day. Congratulations, EA! You earned one star! Additional stars can be purchased for $5.49 each. I wear this mask to sing lullabies to my children. They are terrified of this mask. Whenever they protest about their bedtime or ask for too many sweets, I whip on the mask. And they soon know who is the king penguin. Wah, wah. Ugh, this tent was missing its stakes, tarp, and fly cover. I had to cover it in vines and leaves for my camping trip, and I got soaked overnight when it rained. Coincidentally, my hepatitis is gone now, but I don't know what that has to do with it. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know if this is a scam or if mine was broken, but it doesn't work, and I'm still getting abducted by UFOs on a regular basis. <sighs> there are no wolves in this movie. Anime sweat drop of disappointment. Transmission of music data at rates faster than the speed of light seemed convenient, until I realized I was hearing the music before I actually wanted to play it. Apparently, Denon forgot how accustomed most of us are to unidirectional time and the general laws of physics. I tried to get used to this effect, but hearing songs play before I even realized I was in the mood for them just really screwed up my preconceptions of choice and free will. I'm still having a major existential hangover. Would not purchase again. So I upgraded to Windows 95 from Windows 8. Before Windows 8, I had to go into the ginormous start screen to launch a program on the desktop, but now in Windows 95, there is a start menu that makes launching programs much easier. A lot of the default programs that came with Windows 8 are in Windows 95, like calculator, paint, notepad, etc. A notable and cool in Windows 95 is the briefcase. I can stick folders in it and bring the file up in another computer. Minesweeper is also a great game in Windows 95 to try. Unlike Windows 8, MS-DOS games are fully compatible, so no need for that DOS box. Additionally, Windows 95 uses significantly less resources like hard disk space. So my hard drive went from 475 gigabytes out of 500 gigabytes with Win 8 to 499 gigabytes out of 500 gigabytes with Windows 95. Some other useful features in Windows 95 are disk defrag for defragging your device and scan disk for checking for disk errors. The thing I love most with Windows 95 is the simplicity. There's no other interface and not a bug load of apps pre-installed. Windows 95 is uh, overall a great OS and I highly recommend it. You know what the sad part is? He's not wrong. So I purchased this product 4.47 billion years ago and when I opened it today it was half empty. When I turned to state witness, they didn't have enough money to put me in the witness protection program. So they bought me this mask and gave me a list of suggested places to move. Since then, I've lived my life in peace and safety, knowing that my old identity is forever obscured by this life-saving item. Oh my god. What if... What if all the horsehead people that we meet at conventions are people in the witness protection program? Warning. Do you want your spouse to smack you? Your kids to kick your shins? Then avoid this album at all costs. You'll ignore them. All. Brushing off this warning may cause severe feel-good heavy feelings. You may experience a spell of charisma, nostalgia, intrigue, etc. Once you have reached elation, forget calling for help. The addiction has now taken you. Soon your family will start experimenting with this album, and no Aaron Burr and Alexander Hamilton are more than just a trivia question from the Got Milk commercial from 1993. Everyone loses. Hamilton. Nine points.